I am Johnny Massacre and welcome to the Johnny Massacre Show. This is the Thursday Night Massacre. On tonight's show, hashtag President Pelosi trends as 12 US servicemen die and 15 wounded after a blast at Kabul airport in Afghanistan. Chaos ensues. Who's fucking with me? Give me a hell yeah! So the info is still sketchy coming out of Afghanistan. They're still investigating, but there has been at least one suicide bomber out there at Kabul airport. 12 US servicemen at least are dead after a suicide bomber blew himself up. That means bang, bang, gunfire after the suicide bomber exploded himself. Apparently shots were exchanged between the US forces and various Islamic extremists. So General McKenzie, who is a United States Marine Corps general who currently serves as the 14th commander of the United States Central Command, told CBS News, quote, a bomber came to the gate and detonated while being checked by U.S. service members. That cowardly piece of shit. He said the U.S. is still focused on preventing other active threats to the airfield. There are reports of a second blast outside a nearby hotel. The bomber blew himself up at what is known as the Abbey Gate at the airport. And those killed included 11 Marines and a Navy personnel. And the number of injured and dead is likely to rise, according to pretty much all sources. Now, the DOD say evacuations will continue after the attacks. And the authorities are describing this as a complex attack, which means simply that it was a well-planned, well-orchestrated, premeditated scheme. Well done, Darth Biden. Another massive win. But Biden's not to blame. Nothing is his fault. Anyone would have made the same mistake, right? You know, I'm going to use this excuse when I bankrupt my next company's my next company's manager, right? He gives me a job. Johnny, hey, why don't you come work for my company? Okay, do I get the fucking key to the office, get the company car, and I, I've got access to the company bank account? Can I make a few investments? Okay, cheers, leave it to me. Um, if you hire me, I'll turn your company around, okay? I'm hired, sweet. Six months later, empty the company bank account, blow it on prostitutes and cheap liquor and expensive liquor and everything in between. Then the boss comes and said, Johnny, you've bankrupted my company. Anyone you would have hired would have done the same thing. That's quite simply what has happened here. That is quite simply what Biden is saying. He's saying that whoever would have been in charge, it would have been exactly the same result. You can see how ridiculous that sounds. So more than five hours after the attack, there was no news from Biden. And he actually eventually came on at 5 p.m., Got to wake up grandpa with some smelling salts and uh, maybe an Epstein massage, some Werther's original and the sound of children's footsteps. Finally, he did awake and he gave a little speech. He appeared. And the main takeaway from the speech is, quote, we will hunt you down. There's nothing more threatening and terrifying than the thought of Alzheimer's Biden hobbling after you saying, I'm going to hunt you down. I'm sure all the kids now are cringing in fear. So let me get this straight. We went out to Afghanistan. We went out there for fucking 20 years. We spent billions, trillions of dollars and they, we withdrew like a complete retard. Then when loads of people die because of your fuck up, then you say, uh, now I'm going to kill you and bomb you. Too late, motherfucker. This is the reason we went out there in the first place. In the first place because they fucked us up and then we basically retaliated and it was supposed to be some kind of nation building and to stop Al-Qaeda and terrorist groups forming and it becoming a hotbed of terrorism. And it was a strategic vantage point. And now you pulled out and they fucking hit you again. And then you say, I'm, now I'm going to I'm gonna go and get you. We, that's why we already went out there. That's why we spent all this fucking money. This seems like such a careless mistake. It's, it's almost as if Biden says, whoops, forgot the car keys, better go back into the house to get them. Whoops, withdrew from Afghanistan without withdrawing any civilians or equipment or leaving any personnel in place, just a few to keep the order. It's, it's mind boggling. It, this is a mind boggling fuck up. So Biden, he said, the US evacuation mission will continue and not be deterred by terrorists, of course. And 
I just, I just can't believe what he's fucking saying. He's saying they, he's going to hunt them down. And that's the reason we went out there in the first place. And now you're basically going to have to go back in there to achieve your objective of hunting them down. This proves you never should have withdrawn like this. So Biden was saying that it couldn't have been done any other way. But then he's saying we're going to go and hunt them. So that basically means you're going to just do the whole fucking Middle East war again, which just proves you're completely wrong and you made a mistake. Because if you're going to hunt them down, you're going to go out there again. Then why did you even withdraw in the first place? Because you were already there. You don't have to go back in now because you've left. You were already there. It just proves this is a massive mistake. And it turns out, you probably see this in the news. I'm, I'm ranting now because I'm so pissed off. Forgive me. I am a human. It turns out, uh, the White House was working with the Taliban on evacuations. That's not how you fucking do it. These guys are terrorist cockroaches. You get out there, you slap your fucking dick out, whisk it around, slap him out the way, get your heavy artillery, get the fucking boys, get the choppers, get the bombs, ballistics and boomsticks and you say, get out my fucking sight, you fucking cockroaches, until we're done here. And then you don't come back here until months after we've left or we're going to fucking drop a nuke on your head. That's how you fucking do it. So, so, <laughs> so quite simply, the US and White House working with the Taliban on evacuations is kind of like working with Jeffrey Epstein to escort your children on vacation. It is the stupidest thing you could ever fucking do. But the left, they're so altruistic. Everyone's the same. All cultures are the same. Everyone's nice people. Let's trust them and get your own people killed. And lest I remind you, a 100,000 people from this godforsaken hellhole. That's what it is. It's a hellhole in the middle of the fucking sand. It's like a discount Tatooine. A hundred thousand people from there have now been shipped into the US, some of which it's already come out unknown terrorists. They made a few mistakes. People from this culture with blowing shit up, blowing themselves up to reach heaven and shag a bunch of virgins. A load of those people are now coming into America. So this is something we should get really excited about. Really excited about. Now, Biden, what else? He said a few other things. He, <sighs> CNN's Adrian Vogt said, Biden says, while no one trusts the Taliban, it was not a mistake to rely on those terrorist motherfuckers to secure the airport perimeter. What? So collaborating with terrorists means you're going to be fine. They're not going to do anything, right? Other than blow themselves up. So Biden is saying that's fine. I can imagine Biden accidentally shoots your 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 dog. Oh, this is fine. This is there's no problem with this. Just unbelievable nonsense coming out of the White House, left, right, and center. When asked if Biden thought it was a mistake to depend on the Taliban to secure the perimeter of Kabul's Hamid Karzai International Airport in the wake of the deadly attacks, President Biden said, "No, I don't." It's not what you would call a tightly commanded regimented operation like the US military is, but they are acting in their interests, which is to murder Americans, you fuckhead. He said, I've asked this very same question to military on the ground, whether or not it's a useful exercise, blaming the military, never blaming himself. Biden says he will grant additional forces in Afghanistan if the US military needs it. Again, proving Biden fuck this up. So, Okay, Biden is going to grant additional forces in Afghanistan if the US military needs it. Well, do you know what more assistance is? It's taking a time machine back and leaving the troops in place to do what you're doing now without any equipment or air bases. If you're talking about giving them assistance, how about you just left them there to assist and do what they needed to do and then take people out? Biden proving he's lying when he said that anyone would have made the same mistake with that comment. Now, of course, various Republicans are calling for the resignation of Biden. President Harris and President Pelosi was trending on Twitter. Choosing between Skeletor and Camel Toe is like choosing between dying, falling off K2 Mountain or Mount Everest. Take your pick. You're all going to end up in the same clusterfuck. The worst take of the night goes to that smug, snide, sniveling, eye-rolling twat, Malcolm Nance, should call him Nance, from MSNBC. 
He's the guy who was on Bill Maher recently or Ma with Ben Shapiro and Ben Shapiro was trying to be as intellectually honest as possible when discussing the racist abomination of critical race theory. And that guy just said, oh, your show sucks. It was rolling his eyes with this cringy look on his face. That wanker made a tweet about it and just said, look, this has been happening for ages in Afghanistan. Hashtag deal with it. Typical far leftist, radical, moral, relativist, nihilist postmodernist deconstructionist loser is this guy oh loads of people have been dying now some more people are dying who fucking gives a shit well biden could have done it better and no one had to die here the blood is on biden's hands in my opinion i just want to say respect to anyone who went down there who was called to go out there to fix this mess the soldiers the sailors the marines i love you without you real men and women we would be fucked and there'd be no freedom around the world so thank you for going out and my thoughts go out to the loved ones and families who are affected by this fucking disaster. It's kind of like in the Aliens movie, right? They have to go back into the fucking hive. They should have just done the mission out there like Alien and gone home after they blew up the ship. That's what they're supposed to do. But now it's turned into a fucking James Cameron sequel and they have to fucking go back out there and look what's happened. Another disaster. So my take on this is quite simply, just remove the civilians first. I was asking people on my live stream today, what is the logic behind removing the military and all the equipment and giving up all your bases before removing civilians what is the logic behind that again it, it's such a it's such a obvious mistake to make but on the world stage you can't make these kind of mistakes you've got a whole fucking team supposedly world experts behind you supposed to be the biggest best baddest military in the world and you don't remove the civilians and then the president says no one could have avoided this mistake what are you talking about what the actual fuck are you talking about I don't understand this at all. It's like you want to do a fucking music video in the fucking hoods because you grew up in the hoods and then you got rich and you left because obviously you don't want to get shot. And then you're going to go back to the hood to shoot a music video to prove your street cred and you've got a massive security force and then when the music video stops filming, you take out the security force and you leave your fucking rapper, your, your star, in the middle of the fucking hood and then he gets shot. And you say, well, whoever would have been directing this music video and producing it and arranging security, the same shit would have happened. No, it wouldn't have happened. If you remove the civilians, there'll be no civilians to kill and you won't have to send people back in to escort them. You fucking idiot. What a twat. Also, I'd just like to point out that I think now Americans are likely to be left behind in Afghanistan after the Kabul bombings because Biden doesn't want the bad press. In my opinion, we all know Biden is a is a unscrupulous bastard selling out his own country for decades in order to, to line his pockets and his son and his family. And I think good press for Biden is worth more than the lives of the people in Afghanistan. So he doesn't want this to continue anymore. I think he's going to leave him out there and he's not going to send anyone else in and he's just going to try to sweep this under the rug as fast as he can, drop a few missiles and say, look, I fixed it. And I think it's obvious that Biden cares more about good press than people's lives because they keep encouraging violence in the US, right? You've got working class communities, you've got Black Lives Matter rioting and then all, the, all these crimes in those very same communities. And Biden is, is telling the people nothing is their fault. He's defunding the police. It's all about optics when actually they're really fucking shit up. Uh, Trump weighed in on this. He said, Melania and I send our deepest condolences to the families of our brilliant service members whose duty to the USA meant so much to them. Our thoughts are also with the families of the innocent civilians who died today in the savage Kabul attack. This tragedy should never have been allowed to happen, which makes our grief even deeper and more difficult to understand. That's emotional. Trump really is the fucking president. You fucking know it. May God bless the USA, he said. Now, the Taliban tried to spin this. They fucking tweeted. And bear in mind, right? Talking about the Taliban just after Donald Trump. Donald Trump not allowed on Twitter, but the Taliban are. If this is not a great example of how the big tech monopoly needs to be broken up immediately and regulated because they're turning into an authoritarian system and censoring the people we need to hear from, then I don't know what is. But the Taliban are still allowed to tweet, unlike Donald Trump. I had to get that news from his personal email. This I got from Twitter. The Taliban said, several explosions have been heard tonight in Kabul. There were controlled detonations carried out by US troops who were destroying their assets at Kabul airport. Well fucking done. So... 
the Biden administration and his shadow government, Big Tech, further legitimizing the Taliban, allowing them onto Twitter when Donald Trump isn't. All that does is show you that the left are Marxist, censorious assholes. Marxists always want to surveil you and censor because they can't win a debate. Their ideals don't stand up to scrutiny and under the cold, hard light of truth. And so they have to censor anyone who questions their ideology. And that's what they're doing in Big Tech. That's what the Biden administration does. It outsources all of its censorship to Big Tech. And they're just proving the fact that they're censorious, Marxist, socialist, communist cunts, proved by the fact they're allowing Taliban to tweet and Donald Trump not to tweet. They've got their priorities all wrong. They are disgusting. They're far, far left. They are dangerous and they need to be gotten rid of as soon as possible. So I'm quite angry today. I, 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 this has pissed me off. I don't want to see Americans dying for no reason. My American brothers and sisters getting hurt out there for no fucking reason because of pure incompetence when that guy should never be in that seat anyways. And you know what I'm talking about. I am joining Massacre. And if you're just joining us, we are discussing in a huge emotional rambling rant the chaos at Kabul airport where a suicide bomber has claimed the lives of at least 12 U.S servicemen with the number likely to rise but if you've been watching from the beginning stop your grinning and drop your linen donate some cash and let's keep winning streamlabs.com forward slash johnny massacre it is 7 26 in the morning i never stop working for you i'm tired i don't get to sleep a lot i've hardly got any cash because i spent all my time making this show if you can donate you're going to keep me alive and you will turn this into a full-time job and in effect by donating to this show all you're doing is promoting free fair enlightenment ideals the ideals that america was founded upon and promoting them to all all my viewers think about it as advertising for the freedom and fairness of the future of the free world against the backdrop of the American stars and stripes so no music tonight I would like to just leave in silence and when we finish the show I'd like you to just sit in silence and think about the lost lives of the people who are out there defending you and keeping you safe at home I've been Johnny Massacre, and I tell you what, mate, you better be back for the next episode. Otherwise, I'll be coming around your house. Please make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because that is what those other cunts tell you to do. Laters.